My family and I live in Arizona and we occasionally visit our Navajo family in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We left early to get there by noon or less. It is a very long and boring trip there. But we get there before noon and we have time to mess around and talk with our extended family. And we, kids, start to play around till the evening starts to show. The house is too small for everyone to fit and sleep in. Some of the kids have to sleep in the trailer and truck camper, but two of my cousins and I had the amazing luck of sleeping in the old slightly torn tent. We are well asleep at this point and for some unknown reason I wake up. Of course, I'm still tired and rubbing my eyes while yawning, meaning I wasn't well aware of my surroundings. Once I finish rubbing my eyes, I look straight at the entrance of the tent and see a figure, illuminated by the back porch light, standing in front of the tent. At first I was scared, but thought it was my other cousins just messing with us. As this person was still standing outside our tent looking at us, I turned to one of my older cousins who was two years older than me to wake him up and tell him that someone was standing outside of our tent. He tries to brush me off, but I persist and he turns to me and asks me what I wanted. I tell him to look at the entrance of the tent, and he does. I've never seen someone go from the brink of sleep to sheer panic and alertness in their eyes that fast before. He looks at me with this panicked face and tells me to be quiet. He whispers to me that it's a skinwalker and that we need to be quiet again. We lay there for the longest time and from my memory it was at least an hour or more. We were just about to go back to sleep because it hadn't done anything. Then it started to move around the tent. Remember when I said this was an old tent? Yeah, it had some holes in it. One of the holes was the size of a quarter and I decided to be brave. As it continues to walk around the tent a fourth time, I slowly crawl towards the hole and try to take a look. As I did this, my cousin told me to get back to the bed or it'll hurt us. Of course, as a kid, I ignore the warning. I'm at the quarter size hole and looking out to see whatever it was. It comes around the hole and what I saw was bone chilling. I bolt back and hide under my sleeping bag while my cousin does the same. This thing decided to stop moving and start looking at us again. I hid under the covers and spent every ounce of energy being scared. And then I finally fell asleep. I woke up early, maybe around 5, and I decided to look around the tent to see if there was anything there. I see footprints, bare footprints that send shivers throughout my body. I saw the footprints move around the tent. This hit me hard because I was now realizing it wasn't a dream. As I further investigate the footprints, I noticed that it went off track. It went off to the rocky hills nearby where we were staying at. I follow the track to the hills, about a football field away from the house. As I continue to follow the tracks, something strange and scary happens. It goes from two footprints walking for a while to footprints and handprints in the dirt starting to form. I found that kinda strange because no person would do that out here. 
As I followed the tracks further into the hills, the hands and feet started to get smaller and smaller. It then subtly changed into coyote paw prints. That is when I stopped and turned back home, first walking fast, then onto a full-on run. When I got back, I sat down on the back porch for a while and thought about telling my family, but I didn't think that they would believe me. In the end, I didn't tell anyone, even the cousin I woke up in the middle of the night. Well, that's my story. I urge you guys to not go into the Navajo reservation to go looking for them. You will bite off more than you can chew. We, my people, take these beings very seriously and do our best to not talk about them. Even though I broke this code, I just thought to warn you guys about them. Whoever is listening are the first people to hear this story. I had a few more stories to tell, but this is by far the scariest one I had. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I have a lot to address, there's a time and place for that, and the end of a video like this isn't it. I'll be leaving a pinned comment for those who are curious. Anyways, I wanted to thank Axeman for animating this video for me. Animators really do have it hard on YouTube, especially getting off the ground with their work, and they truly deserve as much exposure as they can get. This video took months of work for him to make, so if you appreciated this video and you want to see animations similar to this one, you should head over to his channel and subscribe to him. It would mean a lot to me and he truly deserves it, and it doesn't hurt to say something nice if you genuinely really liked it. I'll leave a card on screen and a link in the description to his channel. Once again, there's info in the pinned comment for those curious on things going on personally with me. But I will be explaining more in the future, but it'll be in a more optimal setting. Thank you for watching. I genuinely appreciate and love you guys, despite how I sound. The support on the tweets and in general was unreal. And I'll have a story video for you all in the near future. I apologize if I sound more... <laughs> dead than I usually do, but it's just going to be like that for a little while. I really do mean what I'm saying though. Stay safe and have an awesome day.